And then the other one I want you to pay attention is this one, Event Manager. So, um, you know, uh, I'm going to show you why it's important because you've probably heard of a piece of code that we call the Facebook pixel that Facebook gives you so that you can put it on your um, website, your landing page, your sales page, so that actually Facebook can track who's visiting your website so that you can create ads that can retarget specific offers of yours to people you know went to your website. So if you have someone who helps you with your uh, website, you're going to give them that piece of code and you're going to find it right there. So you're going to click on the events manager. And you know, don't worry, it's not very user friendly, but I'm going to guide you through it. So events manager, I click on it right there. And then basically what it will do is that um, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do show later, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this events manager to data source and right there, so sometimes it's a little different, so bear with me, I'm gonna click on the green arrow. Yes, right there. So when you click on the green arrow, right? So remember what I did, I went there, you know, I went there, then clicked on events manager, right? And then it, it brings me there. Click on the connect data source and here connect a new data source. So I want to connect the website of the author to the Facebook pixel. So I'm going to click on web and then get started, right? And then usually what's going to happen here, you can use both, but what I'm going to do for the simple, the, the, the purpose of this uh, demo here, I'm going to click on, I want the Facebook pixel. So you click on there and then you click connect, right? And then you name your pixel. So I'm going to name it Michelle, 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 Michelle pixel. I'm going to call it master pixel just to make it so official. And then you can also put your website right there, which um, I could actually. The website is called Michelle, michelle.ca, right there. So you copy and paste the, the URL of your website and I go back to Events Manager and I'm going to paste it here. Boom, right? And then continue. So you are creating a piece of code that actually going to be installed manually or if you have a partner, like it depends some your Shopify, WordPress and stuff, you can use what they call a partner integration. Personally, if you have someone that helps you with your website, I would uh, install the code manually. So what you would do is click on install, right? And then it gives you here a piece of code and don't get, you know, spooked by it. Just copy the code, right? And paste it in an email that you want to send to your developer or paste it on a file that you keep on your computer so that next time you talk to your developer say hey can you put my Facebook pixel on my website or on my landing page so and then continue right so I'm just gonna close it here well I know I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it um, turn on advanced matching I'm not gonna do it for now continue uh, how it works open event so yeah so this is you know uh, I won't go deeper than that. What you need right now, my friend, is to make sure that your Facebook pixel is on your website and you get either WordPress to help you with it if you're on WordPress or Squarespace or whoever is helping you with your website. So now I hope it helps. You have now a business Facebook.com business manager that have an ad manager and, and then um, your pixel that you found there. So when you are on ads manager, I'm gonna copy on it. In Ads Manager, you're going to be able to actually set up your campaign. Now, this is where everything happened. And um, the purpose of this video is just to show you how to set up your Business Manager, your Ads Manager, and where to find your Facebook pixel. I want to end on this because once everything is done, the fun is to create an ad. So you're going to create a campaign. And as I showed you earlier, and if you want to learn more, I have tons of tools around this. When you choose a campaign objective, you have to figure out, you know, what is my campaign objective and how does it support my business goal? So maybe you want more traffic to your website, more 
sales to your website, you're going to use conversion. Maybe you want people to watch your videos on Facebook, so you're going to go with video views. Maybe you want to collect emails, so you're going to go with lead generation. You want people to message you on Messenger, so you're going to click Messenger. So once you have this, you know, once you know why you run an ad, so let's say I want to run, or I want people to go to my uh, website, I'm going to go traffic, then you're going to ask me to name my campaign. So I'm going to go traffic by book or no, read my new, read uh, uh, essay one, let's say. And then I'm going to create an ad set and at the ad set level, actually I'm going to do, this is the most important part, I would say the ad set level, uh, because this is where you actually tell Facebook and that should be the video another video, but this is where you're going to tell Facebook, hey, I want you to um, actually send this ad to specific people. And you're going to also tell Facebook how much money you want to spend or invest in that ad, how long you want to run it, and then who you should be targeting, which country, which age, which gender, and what type of people do we want to target. And this is where the beauty happens, right? So that's for another video. I hope you enjoyed installing your business manager, your ads manager, and finding your Facebook pixel. Bye guys.